What's up everybody? Back with another video. Here's the, her, the truck in her final glory. I'll kind of just go over real quick what's been done to it. LP4s up top. The Baja Squadrons behind the grill. A Squadron Pros. Got two amber, four white in the middle. Of course, the Method 305s double black. And then the Eibach coil two inches, so it kind of gets that that level look as you see tinted windows um, and that's pretty much about it I still have the subwoofers for my old truck in the house um, the truck's pretty dope comes with like my last truck the compartment down the bottom of already full fire extinguisher black thing first aid blue, this turquoise thing right here just seem your normal average day stuff truck stuff in this one all the content drone camera Osmo pocket all in there, jacket, a loose just in case, my hat, turf for when I go surfing, golf ball since we're getting into golfing, and yeah, rags, gloves, batteries for when we went camping. Um, the only thing it doesn't have is a spray in bed liner, which, you know, I'm kind of bummed it didn't come with it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it done, so in the near future we'll get it done, make a video out of it, and then there's myself in the background. And what's cool is... Sometimes this camera's a nuisance. It has the click it and it goes up. Which I thought I think is really dope every single time. But what we gotta do is we gotta get that ladder in the truck. Let's get to work. What's pretty cool is I have an orange truck and I bought an orange ladder. It's a little things in life. Oi. This bad girl in here. Get the strap. It's right here. Ugh. Your boy's short, so you know, do what you gotta do. She lined up perfect. I don't really tie it down too hard. I'm good to go. As per usual, do a little cold start. <laughs> Never get tired of it. Never get tired of it. And then we go with the old video with the keys, but this has no key. It's just a key fob, so it's all just hop in and oh, it's all push to start, so break. Oh, dope. Ah, oh, we missed it. 12 inch screen, heads up display. I mean, or no, sorry, not heads up display. Digital cluster in here. I mean, this thing comes fully loaded and I use it for work. Oh, and then we got the moon roof or panoramic, whatever you want to call it. Oh, there's no bird shit up there. Come on, mijo. Ugh. Still a little dirty from when I went to the desert. I cleaned the top off, there was a bunch of mud on here, but you know. Seems like the thing needs to be cleaned a little bit too, caught on this when you when you hear it kind of roll with like dirt or shit's in there, which is probably highly likely, but you know it is what it is. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Oh go ahead, Miha. Guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Drew with Drew the Roofer. Um, I know we had a went on a hiatus, didn't post for a little bit, but we're back today, and today's a good one. We have two appointments, and then we got three jobs going on this week. Ooh, what are you doing, tow truck? We got three jobs going going down this week. So what we'll do is we'll stop at all three today, um, and then we'll try to get a video or clips or anything like that as the progression is going on. And I do know one of them is a complete tile re-roof, which means all the tile comes off down to the wood, whole tile goes off and then they get loaded with a brand new tile. Tile. One is a tile stack. That one is in Oceanside. And then another one is in Escondido. I believe they have already finished. Uh, but we'll stop by a pop through see what's going on over there um, But yeah, but today we're heading to Poway 
Right now, we got to look at some facial board. Um, we got a call that they want some facial board to be placed. Uh, and then, you know, a couple pieces of starter board, which kind of go around the whole house. So it goes hand in hand because it's all overhang. Um, but we're going to go check that out today. So without further ado, I'll stop yapping and we'll get right to the video. Let's get it. All right. So what's up, guys? Uh, we did both appointments. Uh, the first appointment was some bad fascia on the roof. Uh, I'll throw a picture up on right now and as you can see the fascia is just kind of bad on the rake ends uh, at the overhang so we'll give them a prize get that removed and replaced and that's it with that one and then as for this second one i just got done with uh they had a leak at the garage um, which is above the garage door almost essentially and it's at a little mini roof that has a tile pen and a hip and so it kind of a lot of water for that little section i think it just got overflowed um and then the water kind of flowed back onto the roof instead of running down the tile pan into the gutter or off the roof um, that's kind of typical sometimes what happens in those situations is the tile pan has a four inch lip on one side that tucks up your wall under your z-bar and then a six inch run which is what is on the roof and then towards the roof where your tile sits there is probably a quarter inch lip as well and what that quarter inch lip does is when the water kind of lands on it and the water is flowing from the direction it comes from the wall it doesn't flow onto your roof typically what happens is people you know hit hit it with the hammer because they don't want to break the pata off, which is the bottom, and it kind of folds. So then when the water flows down and it, it can go right up and over and onto the roof, um, that's kind of what happens sometimes. Uh, sometimes it just gets overflowed. Uh, there could be a nail when the water got through from the cement, and then the nail is just kind of lifting a little bit, and there it goes into the roof. But in this case, we're just going to tear off that whole section, get it all done for him, and make sure he's... Uh, high and tight and 100% watertight for sure because we guarantee our work and that's what we always do but anyways we are going to Carlsbad we have a roof so I guess the one in Escondido that we were gonna go to is already finished they finished yesterday um, so that one is all done uh, so we only got two today uh, so we'll get after it I'll show you guys what they're doing I think we're dropping off the permit inspections today so i'm guessing they're just waiting so we'll get this done as soon as possible i'll kind of explain what they're doing over there show you guys you know the how-to process and what's going on in the process from start to about now and we'll go from there all right guys see you at the job all right so check it out look at this view look at that beautiful 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 anyways so here we are oh, shit look bad wood right here right there yeah right there right there so they're tearing off this roof tile stack tear the roof off like this tear the felt off stack it put the felt and then put it back they're changing the starter board fascia they didn't want to start raining so that's why it's all covered in plastic all this you can see under kind of this is all done pipes everything everything's solid a little bit of wind but the specters coming today so they are changing all the wood so here's the starter board replacing there's the fascia that they're doing right there All this is the garage this whole side I would go up and over but it's just a little ass walkway so I'll just kind of leave it at B since it's covered in plastic there's a sleeping Indian sleep I don't want to mess it all up but yeah that's pretty much what they're doing today nothing too crazy um, they already replaced this little piece right here <laughs> oh and that piece right there um, but yeah so nothing too crazy today um, we got one more job to go to that is a complete tile redo. Um, it's essentially almost the same as this. But instead of stacking the tile, this old stuff right here, trash. You can throw in the trash and the customer can kind of pick 
the tile that they want, which is dope because you go eagle, boral, um, what else? I know there's another one. I just can't think of it right now. But yeah, and you can choose from a variety of colors. But this is kind of the whole process of how it gets done. Um, after this, they'll put, of course, your drip metal, sorry, your half layer of first, your drip metal, and then a full layer, and then go up all the way up, two layers, half row each, all the way to the top. Here's the starter board, faces down below. So this is kind of the gist of everything. Simple, yet complicated, a lot of labor, because everything has to get took off, walk to the top, taken off, walk, take off, walk. So half of this, this tile right here that's in the middle, is from this section right here. And then that tile up there is from half of this up. So half the roof up there, this bottom half it goes here. So when they put tile, or sorry, when they put felt, when they start lining up, throwing the lines, this all goes down here. And then so every time they go up, it's a section that's cleared enough where they can move the tile and put felt at the same time so nothing gets in their way. So everything kind of gets done the right way and nothing's kind of interfering where they got to do double work. So pretty much essentially they don't have to double move everything because if not, they have to move everything two to three times. Rather just when they tear off, move the tile up there once, drop the felt. When they come back, put the felt down, move the tile again. So it's only twice. Um, you Sometimes you will have to move tile that's up top so your full roll can go. You just move it up or you move it down in the middle of the rows of the tile because you got to stack three feet on center. So when you stack it, you just put those tile in the middle where the space is. So then once you put that roll, you just roll it all the way up to the top and then you move the tile that's in between the two stacks up to the next line. And that's where that goes. But yeah. Um, but they're getting after it. They're doing whatever they got to do. Um, we trust. We get it done. This this view though, I mean look at that, and there's people fishing in kayaks over there too, which is dope, or there's cruising, but I'd be fishing. But yeah, so let's get to it. Let's head to the other job. Ain't much really to see here. It's covered in plastic. Inspections coming between one and three. Um, but yeah, all right guys, let's get to the next one. Okay, check it out. Here we are, Carlsbad. This is the old tile. Throw in the trailer, replace a new tile, kind of like this. So it's gonna be new, like this tile right here. So you can see the process. They gotta tear it off. Here's the felt. Here's the old wood. Tear it off down to the wood. Replace this wood. Um, this customer in this instance, you see those gaps. I'll walk down there. You see these openings right here? He wants these covered. There's one here and this one. All this will get covered just like this. And then towel goes, so it's just kind of all one piece, not an opening above his balcony or his right here, so the water doesn't drop in there. So it'll all be covered. Um, we had to replace some plywood here. Um, they got some more wood to replace, I believe, right there. Um, then that's the garage. It's already done. Um, double felted, as you can see. One felt, half roll, half, half, half. You use a full roll, but it's always half covered. <coughs> Everything's there, harness is here solid and then it'll, it'll look like that roof just like that one new tile they got new tile right there as well um some of those got new tile up there oh and over there but yeah so we're here offering the best service out there possible it is what it is we just get it done and then as well we also i'm going to try to do a giveaway for a magnet hammer from abc so if you guys I'll go buy it so you'll see it see it in this next video it'll be a giveaway um all you got to do is follow we have a company page and we have a truck page so i'm gonna do it on i want to say the company page because everybody pretty much on there is construction and roofing but we'll, what we'll also do is if you like this video or comment like and comment and subscribe if you want I, the subscribers are cool but if not then you know like, comment, subscribe. Um, it'll you'll be entered in the giveaway, and just kind of it's just a hammer. And then maybe we can do a a pouch. We'll do a pouch too, hammer and a pouch, like a whole roofing setup. So it'll be this is what the setup will kind of consist of: pouch, knife, chiva, chalk line, and a measuring tape, and a hammer. We'll get we'll get a hammer as well. So you'll get. 
all that as a pouch, like as a, as a bundle, and we'll give it away, um, which, will, which will be sick. And then we'll, I'll record of what pouch we go pick out and show you guys the setup, and then we'll, we'll give it away on the next video or when I hit 1,000 subscribers or however, you want, however we're going to do it. But yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it. This is kind of the job. We're getting after it, getting it done as usual. Here we are. It's dope. They're on lunch right now. It is almost 12. So yeah, let's get after it. Let's go get let's go get ourselves some lunch and head back to the crib and see if we have any more appointments to do. All right, guys, let's get it. Oh, you Salud. Uy, uy. <clears throat> Another beautiful day. What we got going on here? Complete. Tile, re-roof, old tile is gone. Got this brand new tile. Pretty big house. Again, after it, solar panels going here. And I believe here as well. And I believe some down there and some, yeah, down there as well. It's going everywhere. And above the garage, nothing but Whew, and there's a work truck. It's a beautiful house. They're getting after it. The best of the best are doing what they do best. They won't budget, baby. Snapping lines to make sure it's straight. But yeah, that's what we do. <laughs>